Hello, uh, my name is Jonathan Renand and I'm here on behalf of House by Fast today uh, for the Friday update. I've been emailed in some questions and um, as quickly as I can I'm going to answer them. Um, so here we go. Uh, the first one is, uh, I'm thinking of selling my house this year, maybe in the summer. What do you predict will happen with the property market in 2013? It's a really good question, a common question, and everyone of course would like to know the answer to that. I think the first thing I'd say is beware of anyone who actually gives you a definite answer. Politicians, bankers, estate agents, nobody actually knows for sure exactly what will happen with the property market in 2013 or indeed in the next month or two. All we can do really is make our best guess based on uh, performance, how many inquiries we're getting, um, the, the feel of the market in general, the response we get from buyers and sellers when we speak to them. Um, at the moment things seem very positive. Spring's on the way, um, there's some good news in the economy both overseas with the local share market, bank lending is um, up and down a bit but uh, generally is going in the right direction and I think at the end of the day everybody that we speak to eventually wants to own their home. So if they're able to borrow the money they will be looking to buy this year, uh, many people anyway. Um, I would say that we'll see reasonable growth in London and the South East. I'm not sure where your, your house is, question, or indeed your name, but um, we'll see reasonable growth in the South East, certainly in London, there's a lot of foreign investment going in there. Other areas, um, old uh, sort of industrial areas, um, perhaps where employment uh, prospects aren't quite as good, I think we'll see either a small decline in prices or at least a steadying off. Nothing massive either way, um, so just a general straight line um, with perhaps a, a trend rising upwards in 2013. Okay the next question is um, I've had about 10 viewings and no offers is there anything I can do? Um, it's difficult without knowing all of the facts uh, to give you um, uh, proper advice but here's some general pointers. Firstly 10 viewings isn't too bad I mean you're, you'd be expecting to get some interest by now but uh, the market is still quite slow so you can probably expect another five viewings or so before you uh, get sold. Um, it is slightly worrying if you haven't had any offers. People are coming round to your house, so the price presumably is looking about right, but they're not actually making an offer uh, and agreeing to buy the house. So that might be because they're coming in and there's a bit of work to do to the property that they didn't realise, so maybe the house is a little bit overpriced. Or there are other things that you can do to make it seem a bit more appealing. So for example, if you've got uh, you know, three or four Rottweilers in the lounge, it might be an idea to put them in the garden when you have a viewing. Um, maybe tidy the garden a little bit, uh, tidy up the house in general, declutter. Um, I'm a great believer as well in using rooms for what they're supposed to be used for. So, in other words, if you've got a you know, bedroom two is used as an office or a gym or something like that, maybe think about putting that back into a bedroom so that it really makes it completely obvious to buyers when they come round exactly which room is which. Um, if you carry on like this uh, and don't get any more uh, offers or, or the interest tails off in general, you might want to think about looking at your estate agent. Are they doing everything for you that they should be doing? Um, are the photos on the websites uh, good enough? And uh, do you feel that they're really pushing your property as hard as they can? If the answer to any of those is no or maybe, have a word with them and see if things can be put right. And if you feel that they're not helping very much, um, think about instructing a second agent or uh, indeed disinstructing the first agent and trying somebody new completely. Uh, the worst thing really for a property is when it becomes what we call market sick. In other words, it's been on the market for a long time. Everyone's used to seeing it on Rightmove or Zoopla, in the newspaper, in the estate agent's window and you need to do something to kickstart the interest and that normally means that you've got to think about changing agents. Um, have a think about it, a few more viewings and see what you think. Next question is, uh, how much should I budget for selling my house? I think it's worth about 150,000. Well, there are two routes to go here. So if you do go to a quick buy company, um, if your property's worth 150,000, you should actually pay nothing. With a company like ours, we don't charge uh, agency fees. We don't charge uh, solicitors or anything like that valuation. So actually what you get for the property is what you would get at the end of the sale, minus of course any loans or mortgages that you have against the property. Um, if you're using a traditional estate agent, uh, selling a property will probably cost you about 1.5% of the 
of um, the sale price plus VAT. Um, so remember the sale price might be a little bit less than your 150 if you end up taking an offer. So budget 1.5% of whatever you sell for plus VAT. Um, solicitors to sell a property will be something in the region of about £500 plus VAT. There are uh, some quite good mainly internet based uh, solicitors around at the moment who charge and uh, work on a no sale no fee basis. So if you do have one or two fall throughs before you eventually sell, if buyers change their mind or can't borrow the money in the end or something like that, they won't charge you for those aborted transactions. So that's quite a good thing to look out for. Um, just remember though, if you are rebuying, then you will need to budget a whole new set of solicitors costs, um, surveyors, uh, but you won't pay the estate agency anything when you buy it. Normally that service is completely free to the buyer. Um, and I think that's about it. So I would say in round figures, uh, if you're just looking to sell for 150, if you budgeted um, at about three and a half thousand pounds, uh, maybe four thousand, uh, that should be enough to cover everything. Okay, the next question is, um, there are loads of quick sale companies, what makes you better? It's a difficult one for me to answer. Um, so what I'll do is tell you really what to look for in general, because of course I'm horribly biased, um, because I think our company is the best one out there. But um, I'll tell you what to look for if you are shopping around, and that will give you a few pointers. Um, firstly, I think that you want to know that the people you're dealing with are on your wavelength. So when you phone them, um, do they get back to you quickly? Uh, do they seem quite friendly and helpful? Or are they really sort of bossing you around and, and telling you what to do? Um, are they regulated? Uh, there's an awful lot of um, people out there pretending to be uh, cash buyers or quick buyers. And actually, uh, many times that it's just a one-man band operating out, operating out of a back bedroom uh, and just trying to pick up a few properties. So make sure that the person that you're uh, speaking to represents quite a big company, that they are regulated by something like the Property Ombudsman or the National Association of Estate Agents, uh, some sort of trading standards organisation. Um, and if in doubt, uh, do check. Uh, it's quite easy to do that on the internet these days.